The one thing that that was kind of a, a common topic, a common trend last year was kind of the return game and kind of lack of having consistent production from the return from the return man spot. Um, and that was one of the things that when we watched your tape come out of college. That was one of the things that stuck out right away. It's like, man, this guy, this guy's really good uh, when it comes to returning the ball. You know, I think it was like, I, I, I watched a good amount of Ole Miss games, but good enough to know that you were kind of getting past the 25 consistently a lot, a lot of time, which obviously anyone who watches football knows that's pretty good. Um, but what are the chances we see you uh, kind of uh, have a chance at that starting kick return spot this year, punt return and kick return? Is that is that something that's also been in the works as well? Uh, I mean, I practice with the returners. I return a little bit. Um, I had one punt return last preseason. That's about it. But uh, I don't know. I can't really answer that question. Um, hopefully I get a shot at opportunity back there. Um, but we shall see. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> well, I, the, the thing was, and you know, I told you, I'm gonna be truthful about it. I think that was one of the things that we were lacking at the beginning of the year, man, was just that return guy, that consistent guy being able to return the football. Um, and w- what I like about like running backs like you. Uh, is you have vision, you you know the, the, some certain things you just can't really coach and you can teach when you when you watch when you do is you can see when a guy come in and anticipate you know what a defense is going to do. Uh, so me personally, like I if, if I got a running back who can catch right, knowing your your baseball background, okay, I'm gonna bring that up, all right, knowing your baseball ba- background, okay, who's got sure hands going to catch the ball because that's the main thing securing it for one. But then two, you could be shifty, make guys miss. I mean, to me, that's that's a no-brainer, right? But that's me. That's me. I, you know, one of the, the things I coached was special teams. I'm like, shoot, I gotta mm-hmm. have that. You know, so you know, kind of talk about that, man. Like you, you know, what you what you bring to that, you know, seriously. Oh uh, man, I could I definitely see myself as a valuable asset back there, but um I could definitely take him to the to the crib for sure. You know, <laughs> you ever you ever tap coach? Hey, coach, just tap on and say, "Hey, coach, man, I got that one. Come on now, let me let me get this, coach. Let me come on. Uh. I'm gonna have to, you know. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully, this preseason, I, I, I get all the opportunities I need to, to showcase my talents. Obviously, tremendous athlete. Um, yeah. <laughs> Guy who plays receiver and running back in the NFL and is a return man and played baseball. Yeah, he's a, he's an athlete. <laughs> oh man, we talk about Deion Bo Jackson. Let's say, was it Brian Jordan? Guys like that that have that background. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jared but, Page, our, our boy Jared. Jared Page, yeah. So, shoot, we we know uh, guys like that. And I talked about it. I, I, I actually I, I made a comment. Was talking about that teams and coaches covet players that are multi multi-sport athletes, you know, multi-sport athletes. Because then you have to, these guys, they know how to win. They know how to compete. They know how to do all these different things. They have a different mindset about what they, what they're going in. And so uh, you can just tell man about his attitude uh, that, you know, he's going to play hard. He, he, that, that, that's what you're going to get out of him. He, he's, he's a winner. He wants to win. And so, uh, yeah, man. So, like you said, you know, in, in baseball, you, you you're the only one that could go three and ten and go make it to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So he's swinging for the fences right now, baby. That's yes, what sir. he's doing. He's swinging for the fences. Hey, and like you always yeah. say, make, make yourself stand out, right? And he's doing that with his right back receiver and 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 being a return man. He's, I mean, learning both positions and doing being able to be a return man. He's making himself stand out. Got to. Got to. That's the only way you're gonna get noticed, man, in the NFL, especially if, if you're like on the bubble or you're kind of on the cusp and they, you know they don't quite know who you are. Man, you got to stand out. You have to. You got to make plays. Uh, and so uh, we 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 can tell he's 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 not one of those gonna gonna shy away from that. Okay, yeah. I told him. I said, man, go. Hey, you go tap him suckers on the shoulder. Tap him. <laughs> hey, hey, coach, I can do that. Hey, who you need? I got it. I got it. Yeah. So. He didn't really say much when he asked about return stuff, but he did say there's one thing he did say in there. He's like, I I, I, I can take one to the house. It's like, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, he, he knows, he knows what he's capable of. And so it's, um, 
you know, I'm a mo modest kid. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.